クリクリー So, um, about a week ago, I went to the scrapyard to scrap some metal, and I found something at the scrapyard that some guy was throwing out. So let me, it's in this, behind this door actually. Turn on the light. Yeah, I picked up this from the scrapyard. Guy didn't want it anymore. He said he seized the engine, so there's that. So, yeah. All I'm really gonna do is try to get this thing running. Tire is flat. Front's holding there though. Looked online, posted some stuff on a Facebook page that are that is dedicated to mini bike enthusiasts. And from the pictures I sent them, they said this is called a Sears Roper. They made these things from 1960s till the 1970s. And they said they looked a little closer at the photos and they said this is the original seat and paint engine isn't original it's like a Briggs and Stratton but engine seeds so time for a new engine hopefully I can get this thing running and if you're wondering why this is inside my house that's because there's a snowstorm going on and I'd rather have this inside and not freeze my ass off so yeah I'll take the engine out. That is dirty. I'll try to clean it up a bit, but uh, it's time for a new engine, I guess. Turn this thing around. He said this thing had no oil in it, so. Alright, let's see if I can get this thing on the mini bike. Or I put the engine on. I probably should clean this. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so I guess a tip to find where to find your, your holes to drill. Um, usually the manual will tell you the depths and sizes. It will give you, you know, length, width of where the holes are. You know, measure out and drill. But if you don't have a manual and you're kind of just kind of winging it like me, some people use spray paint, you know. I'm just gonna use white out. Kinda hard to see, but. Gonna just stir it around in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to pull this thing off again and then drill it. Do it on this side too. Hopefully that'll be enough. So yeah, um, updates. Yeah, I got the bolts. 
line up perfectly. The chain should be able to line up with this thing now. Um, the only thing is the length of this chain isn't going to be good enough, so I'm going to have to get a longer chain. That's about the only issue that I have. Other than that, it should be going pretty smooth. Okay, so this is the retarded thing about, for some reason, every single time I encounter a Harbor Freight engine. Well, the thing has no spark, right? No spark. Well, see the on, uh, the uh, kill switch? Yeah, it's still in the on position. So, for some reason, the way this is designed is this is the cause of why it will not start. So, every single time I want to start it, I had unplugged this, and then when I wanted to shut it off, I had to plug it back in like that. Um, right now, I don't have an aftermarket kill switch, or I'm too lazy to try to fix this, so I'm just going to leave this unplugged, and then when I shut it off, I just do that. And then when I have an aftermarket kill switch, I can wire up to the handlebars here. I'll fix that problem. But for now, at least I can start it and turn it off. I have to cut the train, tighten it a bit more. Cold starts of the choke is on. At least it runs. I think. Alright, so an update. Um, yeah, the thing runs, but um, when the thing warmed up. The uh, engine started to idle like super high, and when it idled, centrifugal clutch spun, you know, chain, tire, and the thing launched itself without me being on the bike at all, so I had to wrestle this thing, muscle it, and then throw it on the ground and then shut it off. But I tried to adjust it as best as I could. Um, instead of launching itself, it likes to roll itself, but... Better than nothing. Cable doesn't work. Cable is not good. It's broken. No good condition. So I'm going to uh, do this in the meantime just to show you guys that it runs and drives. So yeah, I'm going to get my helmet on and uh, take it to spin around the block.
that torque. This thing is so unstable, holy shit. Okay, the brakes do work. Holy shit. Okay, so the brakes kind of work. Oh shit. Stop sign. This thing has had so much torque. Holy shit. Oh, damn. The brakes need some work. Holy shit! This thing is not stable at all. Stop sign. I almost slipped on the ice. Oh, I see the turning radius on this bike. Okay, it's not bad when you slow down. Not bad. Okay, so, um, this thing has a lot of torque. Um, it's kind of dangerous when you're reaching down to use this to accelerate when your throttle cable and assembly isn't, like, working because it's broken. But, uh, it runs. Um, I still need more adjustments to do because the thing still wants to, uh, move on its own. Um, even though before it just launched itself, like, it just dumped the clutch as if it had a manual transmission. But, um, you know, I'm happy with it. Um, I'm just gonna give this thing a name. And, uh, the Fooly Cooly Bike. Fooly Cooly Mini Bike. From the anime, Fooly Cooly. Where Haruko rides a Vespa 180 Super Sport. So, yeah, this is... The Fooly Cooly Mini Bike. Thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time.